Welcome back to the Office Hours. Uh, my name is John Fia. I'm the Chair of the History Department here at Messiah College. Uh, I have a guest with me today, Senior History Student Megan Keller. Uh, and today we're going to do a little double duty uh, on the Office Hours. We're going to talk about some of the exciting things happening in digital and public history here in the Messiah College History Department. And we're also going to learn about uh, and promote Megan, uh, Megan's Honors uh, presentation. Uh, which her senior honors thesis presentation, which will take place uh, on um, Tuesday. Uh, we're filming this on a Monday, December 3rd. It'll take place on Tuesday, December 4th. We'll have some of that stuff, I think, on a card uh, at the end of the presentation here. Uh, so again, let me introduce you to Megan. Megan is a senior history major. Uh, she is a social studies education major, which means she's, she's doing her student teaching next semester, uh, but she's also decided to take on a concentration in public uh, history uh, here at Messiah, in which uh, it's a growing concentration uh, in that field. So welcome to the office hours, Megan. It's good to have you here. Uh, this is, I think, our first one where we've actually had uh, two people uh, sitting in front of the camera. And of course, our creative genius, Sloan, is uh, back there behind the camera. Uh, maybe you could stick your hand in front, Sloan, just to, you know, there, Sloan. Um, <laughs> So tell me a little bit about this honors project that you're that you've been working on all for the last year, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, it's a little different than most of the honors projects that have been done here at Messiah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, instead of writing a paper, I did an iPhone app, um, and pretty much it's a guided walking tour through Hershey. Uh, it covers um, early twentieth century, early twentieth century history. Mm -hmm. um, in the town and about the people that lived there and worked for the company. And um, there's also audio as you walk, so you can either read it on the screen or listen okay. or do both. And you get to experience it okay. walking. It's a little over a mile of walking altogether if you do yeah. the whole thing. So. Okay. Great. So it's a walking tour of Hershey mm -hmm. uh, during what the like, industrial yep. age. How did you get involved or how did you get interested in Hershey? I mean, I know it's nearby, right? Mm -hmm. But... Um, you know, what was, how did you, why Hershey? Um, I'm from Hershey. Um, I was born and raised in Hershey, and um, my dad works for the company. He works in one of the factories, and um, I've worked for Hershey, too. I work at Chocolate World. So um, that's pretty much how I got interested is just what I grew okay. up with. I've always yeah. been interested in doing something more with the history. I've known, you kind of learn about it in those local schools, mm -hmm. but I wanted to go a little bit further, and also... Um, do something tangible to give back to the community, Great. as I yeah. may or may not leave it, depending on what happens yeah. in the next couple months. Well, there's an old saying that all history is autobiography. So in some ways, right, you're exploring the roots of the community in mm -hmm. which you you uh, grew up in. Um, I don't know if you just said this or not, but your dad works mm -hmm. for Hershey Foods. Yep. Uh, so there's this connection, uh, real connection there. Um, now, I think when I wrote... Uh, we've been advertising this talk on our Facebook and our blog. Uh, I think when I wrote it, when I wrote the blog post, I said this is probably the most innovative honors presentation that we've ever had. Usually, students just write a, a paper uh, and present a more traditional paper, but you decided to write an iPhone or an iPod, iPad app. Why an app? Um, you know what? What inspired you here on this uh, project? Um, pretty much. Where it started was um, last year I took uh, Dr. Legrand's public history class, mm -hmm. and um, not only there, but just in general, we've been having a lot of conversation about the digital humanities and digital history, so um, it kind of was that and learning about it, um, seeing some other projects, and then also my personal love for iPhone and okay. all the Apple products. I'm a big fan, yeah. and um, I'd heard things that it's, it's doable to write an app, um, okay. at least for relatively simple things yeah. like this, okay. and so I wanted to give it a shot and have like a an actual existing project to show okay. when I apply for jobs or whatever. Yeah, so, that's great. Yeah. Um, one of the things that Megan does with me as the chair of the department, I often speak to prospective students and occasionally we'll get uh, parents saying, you know, I want, you know, Megan will come and talk about the app and we'll say, when, you know, they'll say, when, you know, when, how can we see this app? What is it going to be out? Um, so, yeah, I mean, in some ways, Megan uh, represents this, I think, uh, an important uh, emphasis that we've been making in the history department here uh, about digital history, uh, digital humanities. Uh, we're going to actually be offering a digital history course uh, next year. 
public history, you know, how to bring those things together, digital, the public, and bring history to, uh, uh, to ordinary people. Now, tell me, how did you learn how to make an app? Uh, would you take a course for this? Um, you know, what, did you have background in learning how to produce an app? Um, um, I actually, uh, I took a computer class, I guess, my freshman year here at Messiah, and we worked a little bit um, in the computer class on HTML code, okay. and I wrote a website, which I um, I don't really use a website that often, but okay. I designed it by hand, yeah. and it was doable, and I always kind of had that in the back of my head, it'd be cool okay. to do something with yeah. that, what yeah. I learned. Um, so to learn to do um, iPhone app writing, um, which you use uh, objective C coding, it's a little okay. bit different yeah. of a language, yeah. but it's still a bunch of letters and numbers. Uh -huh. um, I bought a book, um, at Barnes and Noble called iPhone and iPad apps for absolute beginners. I okay, not by, for dummies or for no, idiots. <laughs> for okay. absolute yeah. beginners. Okay. Um, by um, a professor, I think he's at University of Colorado. Okay. Um, and I worked through that and there's like a bunch of exercises and I just, okay. I did the exercises until I found a place where I felt like I could stop and I knew enough yeah. to comfortably do what I wanted to do. And then there's a couple things that I wanted to know that weren't in the book at all. Um, I just looked them up on the internet, and okay, Google. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. Now I think Megan's going to talk more about the details of her of her Hershey study uh, during her honors presentation, which is uh, December fourth. Um, and by the way, let's make a pitch for it now. Uh, December four, two thousand twelve. If you're watching this uh, on the third or the fourth, you know that's coming up. It's in the next couple days here. Uh, four fifteen, uh, Boyer three thirty one. So if you're a student here at Messiah, or even if you're watching this and you're in the area somewhere, uh, feel free to come and see her presentation. And then, from what I understand, we're actually in January going to go out and and try it out uh, yeah. out in the streets of Hershey. Uh, at some point, uh, so I'm sure you'll be hearing more about that. Um, once the app is done, mm -hmm. how do people? How will people access it? Um, I plan to send it off to Apple next week sometime. At okay. The latest. Okay. Um, there's a couple more things I need to put together in it, um, and then it might be a few weeks because of the holiday season and okay. iTunes Connect, which is how you upload the stuff. Okay. Is going to be closing down for a few days. Okay. So it might be a bit of a wait, but by Early January, I hope to have okay. it online. Um, it'll be on the App Store. Um, I Hershey Tour. Um, okay. The lowercase I. Um, okay, so capital H, can... capital T. So, so this should be appearing right here now, right? I Hershey Tour uh, on the on the uh, in the Apple Store. Look for that sometime in around mid January mm -hmm. or so. Um, so again, um, those of you who are not in the area. I just wanted to give you some, some glimpse of the kind of things we're doing here in the history department at Messiah. Uh, those of you who are in the area or are part of the Messiah community or are a history major or minor at Messiah, we will see you December 4, 2012, uh, Tuesday, 415, Boyer 331. And there's a rumor circulating that there's going to be a lot of Hershey chocolate oh, yes. uh, at, the, uh, at the presentation. So there'll be uh, some good food. Hope there'll be Reese's. You know, yeah. I'm a big fan of Reese's. <laughs> All sorts Stuff. Um, so uh, that's our office hours for today. A little bit different today, but we're gonna we're trying to diversify these things, so you just don't have to sit here listening to me talking all the time. Um, so again, that's today's office hours. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.